Well, hello everybody. It is Brooke with the Junk Parlor and today I am taking you thrifting with me. This is my first time going out in 2024 on my regular Thursday thrifting trip. So I did thrift one other time, but it was kind of a spontaneous stopped at a few places, but this is the day where I go thrift all day. So let's go. Gary's bringing the open sign out. I haven't seen Gary since before Christmas. So let's see what he says. So is that really a bomb? Compare it half price. Yep. Uh, practice bomb. <laughs> what are these like grenades or uh, cannonballs? Cannonballs. That's what I was thinking. I was saying. I don't know. This St. Vincent de Paul often has garage sales outside, but it's winter, so these bins would have been things that they would have put outside. Otherwise, this is the holiday room, the furniture room, and if you follow me on Instagram, whenever I find some cool pieces at a good price, normally bigger things that I wouldn't ship, I share them in my stories. I love silver plate and layering, so I think this would be good by the kitchen sink with soap and a sponge or in the bathroom with perfume bottles. A lot of people comment about when they see old pictures, they're sad that no one kept them. That doesn't bother me, but this little cup bothered me more because it looks so recent and someone donated it. I wasn't sure what it was, but the front of this box really caught my eye. I think it's beautiful. I don't need silverware though. Okay, time out. What do you think this is? I would have never guessed correctly. It looks like a little roll top desk and it holds a phone. What? Time for my weekly weigh in. This booth is never going to sell this scale and I am sure I'm not the only one that weighs myself on it almost every time. Still works. I'm still sitting at about 150. Looks like someone's been remodeling a bathroom or two. I do really like the soap holders, although this one has quite a bit of chipping on it. I mean, it's only $5, but it's not really a big money maker and I don't use bars of soap, so I don't need it. Someone's cart screeching really bad. That first one is porcelain and the rest are plastic. And I did look them up because they're super cute and they're pretty much the same price that she's asking for. But I could see those being fun little wall pockets in a funky kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
I think you're just buying the box on this because the paper's inside. Nothing looks like it's stamped or printed, but it's very saran wrapped, so there's not really any double checking. I seem to be liking big ugly lamps for some reason. They definitely wouldn't fit my house, but they're fun. This lamp I've never seen before. It's basically got some wicker around it and there's even a star cut out at the bottom. Of course, it's my favorite color green. DAV also had this bread contraption that I've never seen before, but they had it today too. It's weird how that happens. Okay, it is one o'clock and it has started flurrying. We started at 9 a.m. this morning and have been to five places so far. There's a couple more I would like to go to, although I am also starving, so we'll see how Brooke can hold out. But we got about 20 inches of snow over the last couple weeks. I think Sunday was the last day that it snowed and today is Thursday. We are to get one to three inches um, overnight, but they said it wasn't starting until 10 p.m. and it's flurrying at one. Now, if I wasn't in my truck and had the ability to turn it on four by four, I would be stuck in most of these parking lots and I would be really struggling at stoplights and stop signs. Some are cleared off really well and others have look like they have not been touched. We were at like a negative 40 something wind chill and now we are at like 25, 30 degrees probably. I don't know what the wind chill is. Getting colder again this weekend. So things have kind of started to melt. So it's soft plus salt. Anyway, it's been interesting. And I shared with you the dump truck hauling snow off. So a lot of places have been scooping up the snow and loading it up to unload it somewhere else to clear out their parking lots. And a lot of the thrift stores need to just have somebody come by and blade it, especially before we get more snow. I don't know if the stuff in this cart were on sale or what, I didn't see a sign, but this caught my eye. I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of like a book bundle kit. Um, it looks like it has some old stuff or at least gives the old feeling and I don't know, just caught my eye. These frames made me think of clocks, like someone had taken out all the clock pieces and then donated the frames. Hmm, help me out here. Drop down in the comments what you think this is. It's like 
decoupage over a wood vase? I don't even know. And then this is new to me. I've seen these casseroles all the time, but never with permanent built-in feet pedestals. I don't necessarily like the lamp, but this shade is beautiful. We are home and in the garage and it's like 4.15 and it was slow coming home, probably 30 miles an hour. The lights, a lot of them were flashing. There was people in the ditch already. It's super slick. They did come by and scrape our road, but then it made it really hard to get into the alley and hubby just got home and he shoveled the driveway just super quick because it's going to keep snowing. Okay, so I got everything unloaded. And a lot of this is from my girlfriend. She's been cleaning house and gave me a few things. So I'll share that with you also. So we got some pumpkins, which is awesome because I have switched to doing my porch with only faux pumpkins because then you can just use them year after year. Pretty much the only downside I have found is that they're more likely to blow away. So I do normally put them in like an apple basket something like that one or an egg crate or something and then hillary also gave me this little pine cone tray super cute for some fall decor and this one's kind of a different color scheme and i love the colors also she gave me these three these are all soft kind of like a sweater pumpkin and the tag on these are from Big Lots. She works with Big Lots a lot. And so I'm guessing she got these for free. I am happy to take them off her hands. They are super cute and they will look great next fall. And in this box, I was really surprised Hillary didn't want to keep these um, stamp blocks. They are awesome. They're nice big ones, what, probably close to three inches. She had these in her booth at Ross Armadillo back when she had a booth and they didn't sell. So I'm happy to take them off her hands. And then some faux pears. I think these, oh, they have some weight to them. I thought maybe they were styrofoam. These will be great as a bowl filler. And she also sent me home with some packing material, which I am always on the hunt for. Okay, hit pause. Tell me how much you think I spent on these items total. So what was my total spend? $64.90. Okay, the little homemade plant stand and stool, I'm undecided on if I'm going to sell those. So if you are interested in them, you can comment below or go and watch my Facebook Live, which is February 4th at 7 p.m. I'll probably wait until then to decide if I'm going to sell them or not. 
As far as these little items go, we have $20 on our little teapot. The lid is actually attached and looks like it is the original. We have the pine cone tray and this is $8. It does have a number three on it, so it was probably one of many, but I only have the single. This shaving set is $90. It does have the brush. There is something um, rattling around in it. And then it has a little holder here for the brush, which you could put either direction. And then it has the three cups. There's beautiful um, carving on it. I think this is maybe bronze, but it is unmarked. So there are no marks on the bottom. Even the back side is beautiful. We have the brass birds for $60 and they are kind of a little bit modern looking. Wood carved knife envelope opener for 20. Book ends, these are in good condition. I haven't noticed any chips or damage on them. And the pair is 40. There are six little gourds. They all have a little bit of a red hue to them. And $6 for the six. You are not getting the tray with it. This really needs dusted. It's actually, I think, meant to go in the kitchen. And then you can line your cookbooks up and have a little drawer for mail or pens and you know just kind of like a little junk drawer but I've seen these in a kitchen um, super cute struggling with the drawer a little bit there but it does work it's just my angle it is $48 now the underside is not finished but you could also hang it kind of like a clock shelf if you wanted if you wanted to seal up the top section, but really it's meant to go like this. Okay, this says Walnut Wren, and then it looks like P Plot, P L O T T 81. It's $48. So it is Walnut, then Driftwood, then the Walnut Wren. And I haven't found any damage on it, so typically it's going to happen on the beak or the wing tips and I think this one looks good. Big ass dictionary. This is a Webster, pretty neutral color. Great coloring on the pages if you want to have the pages showing instead of the cover. This is a 1962 copyright for $65. And I'll just kind of show you how it's set up. All the pages are gonna be the same, obviously, with just different words. Here's how I've styled the brass bucket for now, along with the expensive Pottery Barn succulents. And then the little side table I've been on the hunt for, I have it all put in position. And then I also styled one of the little antlers that I picked up. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that subscribe button and I will see you next week.